All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm waiting for Mr. Micah. Mr. Micah and I have worked our butts off to bring you Iron Valley completed. We have run the most amazing track line that you're going to see on YouTube. And yeah, maybe not, but it's pretty cool. Uh, and we got inspired from things like the Tehachapi Loop, the Durango and Silverton Railway. All of these things have been brought into our awesome hill climb. Uh, we have some steep grades and mountainside passes and river runs, and there's a waterfall and a loop. It's intense. So what we're doing right now is I am at, waiting for Mr. Micah, I'm at the lumber mill, and I am filling up on lumber. We're going to uh, fill up the sawmill stations, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the firewood stations for our trains, and I'm also going to supply cordwood to the smelter. So I figured I might as well, you know, get these things done while I'm waiting for Mr. Micah. Um, so we've got five cordwood cars here to fill up, plus I have four lumber cars over on the other side that we're going to be putting logs on to take to the, uh, the uh, different firewood facilities that we've placed in Iron Valley. And that is the official Arthur name for it. I'm going to call it Iron Valley because it's all things iron. Actually, it could be called Iron Coal Valley also, but uh, we're calling it Iron Valley for the freaking fun of it. Tell you what, the one hard thing about not having Mr. Mike here is it's really hard to tell when I'm not lined up. Like, doesn't it look like I'm lined up? Getting a bunch of followers. Well, you're gonna have, we're going to have follower interruptions all day because Farm Sim 22 is coming out soon, and so we are um, – I put the announcement up today that I'll be covering it early, kind of announcing the schedule, and so I think we're going to get a lot of people coming in on Friday to see the new game, so – Right about there. Breaks. That's good. And let's go ahead and get this uh, loaded up. Two at a time. And once Mr. Mike comes, he'll help us. But I'm going to go ahead and get this train loaded. And uh, then we'll begin our journey. You can see all the new track that we've laid. Uh, there's a little interchange and a bunch of new stuff that we've put in um, to get back to the Iron Valley. And then the... The whole loop that we've put in through the valley is pretty cool. So see you guys in just a minute. So, all right. So I have left the logging camp and I am on my way over to, to meet Mr. Micah. He is at the sawmill and we should have enough fuel. We're basically, we're going to be giving firewood uh, using those logs in the back to the two uh, facilities that I put for our, um, firewood for the trains. And then these four cars of cord lumber are going to be going to the smelter to fire the smelter when we bring iron ore down. Mike and I also bought two iron ore, iron ore cars. I'll probably be buying two more, but I'm trying to save up right now to get the Heisler engine um, so that we can do the mountain railroad roading because the tracks are where we're going. You're, you'll see they're really steep, and this, this train has some issues trying to get up the hill. We have to run it like full tilt. Did you add sand back in it? Uh, I did not. I don't think we even have a you, sanding station. Well, we should probably put one in and add some sand to it. Okay. Now, I think this side of the map isn't going to real need sand, so maybe we should put the sander like on the at, at the, the entrance at the other at the other at the other um, place. Yeah, down we should put it at the smelter because that's at the bottom. Yep. 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 Though we might also want to yeah, we might also want to put one because honestly, the iron ore. yeah, or even before then, like at the entrance to the iron ore, beca like at the bottom in the valley here. Uh, all right, so I'm going to need to go to the right, Mr. Micah. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, go, go, I know, go, I've go, got go. my brakes on. Full brakes. <laughs> oh, I'm trying. <laughs> and then I'll need to go into the, the left track because we want to get, we're going to have to back down into the valley. Okay. I'm going to have to rerun some of this so that we have a direct line so we don't have to do this every time. We should probably have a direct line over to connect into the, the valley system so that next time yeah. we don't have to do this. But the good news is that that's, that's why I was thinking about if you ran a line from out of the log, go out the back way and just make a high bridge that comes all the way across. 
That might work. Yeah, that's something like a bridge, bridge our way over all this stuff and then join up over there. Yeah, that may work. Holy smokes, this is, where's the next one at? I don't know. I might have to back here and then come forward and then back again. What do you I, want to do? I don't think we have a switch over here, do we? It's yeah, pretty that's, far down. Yeah, that's the issue that I'm having with all this. Are you going to go back again? Yeah. Okay. All right, you're good. You can back up again. Yep, I'm breaking. I'll hit the switch. And then don't forget other switch. Yeah, we need to get on yep. that. We need to get on that line to the left. <laughs> and we're going to unfortunately have to back down the hill, but that's just how it goes. No, you'll go for it. I don't think so. Yeah. Really? Uh-huh. But we're not going to get a turnaround. You'll see. Okay. I'll let you guide and direct the train. All you do is back up. I got the switches thrown. All right, keep backing. So if you derail, it's all my fault. Okay, <laughs> great. Tell me when to stop. Yeah, it's because you can see that's our new main line over there. And we're going into Iron Valley. You'll see it. it's spectacular what we've done. But this interchange still needs some work. We do need a couple, like a little bit more direct way to get there. Because um, this right now is kind of a mess. Yep, keep on coming. Keep on coming. No, oh, I think I see what you're doing. We're going to back down there and then go forward into it. Okay. Yep. Yep, you're all good to go. Just... Once you pass that uh, that certain switch, I'll throw it and we can get out of here. Okay. Oh, no! No! Oh, no, what happened? I don't know. That was really bizarre. It just snapped. Oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, hang on. Let's get it re-railed. No, no big deal. It happens. It's not, oh. the, it's not the first time I've been off the tracks. It's not? No. Uh, all right. Did I have a switch thrown wrong? I don't think so. No, because it went off before this. So the switch is, let's see, going that way, yeah. Can you do me a favor? Just wonder, we, there, we need to put brakes on these cars because they're starting to roll. Thank oh, you. sorry. That's okay. I'm going to do that. So we're going to take, let's see, we're going to have to put all these cars back together. Take the pin out on that one. Pin's out on that already. Pin out. Yep. Pin out. I'm throwing all my wood. Throw the wood. I'll disconnect these. Not a big deal. I guess we have to really watch that curve. It's weird. I've come through that before without having any problems. This is a longer train, so maybe the weight's causing issues. Uh, all right, so let's grab Little Mac here. Could be. I'm going to go to our re-rail mode and put Little Mac. Fire down. I guess right here is going to be... How do you turn him around? Oh, is he flipped? No, yeah, I he's turned around the wrong direction. Yeah, now he is, yeah. Let me turn him back. Uh, Porter, <laughs> let's see. G, re-rail. Left mouse button, select vehicle, rotate. Left mouse button, rotate clockwise. I don't think you can rotate them. Let's try this. Yeah, I was thinking pick it up from this side. Maybe that's what it does, but... But it won't. It's not letting me change it. Oh, well, we'll have to go down backwards. This kind of crap happens all the time. Hang on, folks. We'll get this sorted out. We'll be back. So we're still not quite sure what happened there, but we are back under power and under fuel. So I'm going to start moving forward here. Hold on. If I can. Okay, this one's still at 100. 
Tell you what, is that back switch set the right way? Like for the last yeah. junction? Okay. Yeah. So I'm wondering if the train stopped there, it would cause this end to pop off. This train's not even there yet. Oh, okay. It just kind of goes slow. So we ease our way into the facility. Yeah, just that, ease. That was bizarre. Maybe you're going a little too fast, and, well, the, and you had too much inertia build up. Could be. It was just weird, though, because everything else made it through, and then the last cars popped off. But whatever. It is what it is. We got it easy to re-rail. Took us like five minutes. So now we're going to, you guys are about to be introduced to Iron Valley. We've got a little juncture here, junction here to the ticket. Oh, I like in. the name of that Iron Valley. That's really nice. Yep. I think, yeah, maybe we were just going too fast, and the inertia. Oh, I can see some of the cars rocking a little bit, so maybe that's what it was. You had your momentum made so much pressure that they just popped. <laughs> like a pimple. Yeah, something like that. Maybe the the cordwood cars aren't as heavy as the log cars. Could be. You'd think they would be, but maybe not. Logs are Dense logs are pretty freaking heavy. There you go. Yep. Okay. Little Mac coming back. So we're going to take our load down into the valley, and you get to see all the – I mean, what do you think, Mr. Micah, between both sides, about 10, 10 hours total it took us to do all that? More than that, because I had to cut down all the trees before. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so we're probably looking uh, at a good between, like with both Micah and I working on it. It took probably a good, good twelve, twelve to fifteen hours to do this. You're gonna stay to the left, right? Yes. Yeah, because we're going down first and then up. So basically, we turned Iron Valley into a giant loop. Um, we come in on this track, and it comes back out on that track. Or vice versa, you can go in that way and go up the hill to the... Because we're probably going to be going to the coal mine. For, in general, we'll go to the coal mine first. And then we'll come back to the... And we'll drag cars down that have iron ore to the... But well, we're going to the smelter first, right? In this case, yes. Okay. Just making it clear. And I've made my... I forget what you call okay. this intersection, but we've made our first, like, triple-dipple switch yes. intersection. It's a cross switch, isn't it? Wouldn't this be a crack a cross switch? Yeah, it's like a crossing or something. We got junction. Iron Valley. It's the Iron Valley Junction. I'm proud of the work that we've done. I think you've done a great job laying these tracks. They look great. Especially Iron Valley. Yeah, the valley looks awesome. I'm so How are you doing on this? Uh, on, uh, do you need more wood in there? Yep. We How have many logs? We have 16, I'd say four logs right now. Did it go up? Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I missed the miss. <laughs> Aim directly at the firebox. They, uh, no, not yet. One went, it went up one. Did it go up again? No. I would say aim, is, like aim, aim at the top of the firebox. The problem is, is you're standing in the way. You should still be able to hit the top, though. Like, it's the top, along the big part, the big top part, where it's rounded on top. That's where you chuck them. Did it go up? No. It should be fine, though, because we're going downhill for most of this. So, all right, here we go. Here's the entrance into Iron Valley. This is where it gets exciting. So we got about a 3% grade throughout the whole system. Uh, the coal mine is off to the right. The smelter's to our left. And we're just going to blast our way down the hill here. I might slow down a little bit as we get into this section because 
gets kind of Yeah, you want to slow down. Yeah. yeah, I'm breaking right now. And you can see here straight ahead of us is the loop section. This was inspired by the Tehachapi loop. But we do also have a second loop in the back because we needed to get basically the reason why we did this. We had to get down, obviously, to the smelter, but we didn't have enough space to do it. So there were a couple options. We could have run off this way and then run back in a big U shape. But, it, you know, we might as well do it this way. There's nothing wrong doing it this way, and, and I think it was a much cooler solution to have the train run over itself. Um, now we've there a depth up there? We, uh, there shouldn't be. The bump? Oh, there's a bump still. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need yeah. to fix that still. Be careful. You might want to slow down. Eh, I think we'll be all right. I've been over it a couple times. Okay. Um, we do have, you'll see some ramps here and there. Um, and the ramps are what we used to get back up on the tracks when we were building it. So we'll get rid of those. But I haven't had time to go through the system yet and get rid of all the ramps. This is cool. I'm looking at the cars as they're going over the bump. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a little frightening, too, at the same time. It's yes, cool, cool it and is very frightening. Cool and yet frightening. I couldn't imagine the real conductors back in the Old West. Think about it. You're miles away from any kind of town. Yeah. You're all on your own. Oh, yeah. You have all this cargo, and you're going up and down all these hills. And it's not like when you pull the brakes, all the, all the cars will break. Only the engine's breaking. you got to send guys running to go slow the cars down and stuff. I just couldn't imagine. Like, I couldn't imagine the stress. Yeah, it would be super stressful. That would be super-duper stressful. Because you're talking about tons of material. Yeah, just and tons. miles to stop, right. So here's the bridge that we went over. Now we're passing underneath it on the other end of it. And uh, we've come down a good 30 feet. Uh, maybe even 40 feet down lower. And it gets us so that we can actually nice make a nice smooth grade into the mill and yet still have it operational for us to be able to get in and out of here. That's so beautiful. I would have never thought of doing that. <laughs> it's an elegant solution. That's it's, it's cool. Oh, are we going the right way? <gasps> yeah. No, we're not. We're going yeah, yeah. the wrong way. Yeah, yeah. No, no. This is the right way. Is it? Okay. Yep. You'll see. And there we are. So we've made it down to the smelter, and we've made this nice loop around the back, and then you can see some trestle work off in the distance back there. Uh, that is our connector to go up to the second half of this um, mill. So we are going to swing around here, and it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's the carp loop. The carp loop, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the carp loop. Water, waterfall run. The Grand Chapman loop is what we just went through. Yes, that's right. How come, Kirk, how come you don't get in the, That should be the Micah loop. <laughs> nah. I don't need anything named after me. Mr. Micah doesn't need any recognition. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing around this corner here, Mr. Micah. Now, I might need you to throw that other switch. I think that switch is headed the wrong way. Whoa, Mr. Trains. Yep. Yep, she is. All right. Okay. So, yeah, let me through. And just we can just leave it for now. What we're going to do is go ahead and um, disconnect those log cars. All right. Um, and I will do the first disconnect here for these cars. We're going to go. Actually. Yeah, they, they really need to change this, that's for sure. I got it, because I'm over here, so um, I got the log cars. Oh, okay. Go ahead and set the brake on this log car right here. Sure. And I'm going to pull forward a little bit, and then I'm going to disconnect the next set of cars. And you'll see how we do this. It's pretty easy. So then we're going to go ahead and take the brake off and... Okay, now um, if you want to, well, we'll go for we'll go a little further forward. But when we get up near the switch, what we're going to do is when I get near the switch, we're going to disconnect the the 
the last three cars. Okay. So I'll, I'll stop and let you disconnect them, and then we'll... You can leave the links in them, too, if you want. So all you got to do is dis take the pins out and set the brake. Once I stop here. There's that. All right, go ahead and set the brake on number three there and detach it. Let me know when you're ready. One, two, three, four, five. I want to make sure I do the, the pin. Right mouse button. Do it. Okay, pins are out. Pins are out. So we're going to start backing. It's funny is that I don't see the links. Yeah, I just leave them because then we're just we're just going to be pushing the cards back together again. I know, but it's weird that I can't see the links anymore. Yeah, it Something is. Must have happened. Yeah. And you never are able to see them. That's the weird part. <clears throat> All right. Brakes on. Go ahead and switch her. Switch is, switch is thrown. Now, do you know if... How many cars you can unload at a time on this? Up to two, but three will fit in. So those second set of three cars, I'll connect them back to this, and then we'll pull those. We'll push those three in and unload them. Don't forget to join my company to give me money. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to do that. Uh, tab. Tab, that's it. Let's see how we're doing financially. We got twenty two hundred bucks. Twenty three hundred. Twenty four hundred. Good. All right, I'm gonna back up and we're gonna grab those last three cars and push them in there and we'll unload those. And then what'll happen is I will run the engine around the other way and then I'll be connected to the front of the log cars. Does that make sense? And we'll push them all back. I want two log cars unloaded at this firewood depot. And then we'll take the other two up to the iron mine and unload them there. Clear. <laughs> Roger that. And then before we leave... Well, maybe I'll we'll, we'll get some water now. Maybe I don't know. Once we're done with these cars, we'll get some water. All right. About a half a car. Keep going. Four feet. Three feet. Two. And one. There you go. All right. Get the brake off. Okay, brakes off. Brakes off, and we're rolling. Now, do you need me to run up there and check the other switch? Um, no? Eventually. I'm going to have to, once again, I'm going to, once I get the last three of these cars unloaded, we're going to push them back onto the main track. And then I'm, we're going to park them there for a sec. I'm going to run the engine around. We'll fill it up with water and then grab the log train. You'll see. I'll tell you. We'll, I'll give you step-by-steps as we go. Whoops. I'm not clear yet, am I? There you go. All right. You're clear. Okay. Reverse her forward. And we'll probably just roll in, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to stand at the back of the deck on the one side. 
Let me know. Yeah, we'll do the first two cars, and then we'll do the third one. Do you want to try and do all three? Uh, no, because I don't think the deck's big enough, honestly. Okay. I hate to throw any away, because once they start... It would be it. nice if they uh, gave us an option to turn the hitboxes on, just so we could see where the hitboxes are. Yeah, like where the safety is. All right, there's that. Keep coming. You only got one car on there. Oh, weird. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'll just start unloading them while you're doing it. There you go. <laughs> A rolling unload. It's not unheard of. Uh, you better. Yeah, we're okay. All right, stop. Yep, you got yep. enough. Yep. There's just enough. There we go. That's a pretty efficient. Yep. Now, you still got like a half of a car behind the last car. I know. Isn't that great? For room. Yep. I worked it all out. Oops, I did that backwards. All right, come on, honey. Pull. Now, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to pull, I'm going to stop for a second and fill up with water. Okay. I'll grab some firewood. Please do. One, two, three, four, five. Fry right from that one. Fill her up. Always fill up in this valley. Never forget, because you will run out of water if you don't. This is very important that you fill up. When when using when traveling through Iron Valley because it's unforgiving and we're going to use all this water on the climb. Okay, it's filling. That's good news. <sighs> it takes a while to fill now. They've slowed down the process, so which is fine. I wish filling the firewood was easier. <laughs> I'll help you in a minute. Once this is full, I'll join you in filling it up. Just keep watching here. We'll see it go up. And I think that does it. It's full now. Let's push that back up. All right. Oh, yeah. Is it full, Mr. Mike? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll help you get more. We might as well fill up with firewood, too, while we're here. My problem is I sometimes get stuck. Like in the uh, in these areas here? Yeah. Yeah, like I go to I go to hit the forward button, and my character just won't move. So I got to wiggle. You're like, move, you jerk. Okay, the one, the fire, the wood thing on the inside is full. Okay. All right, I'm going to back up till we're out of the siding, and then we'll just stop and drop the cars there. Are you ready? And we are backing. Let me know if you get any more fuel, because I want to figure out where the hitbox is. You just did it. I did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's basically the top of the firebox where the rivets are. Yeah, I found that one rivet. I aimed just just in front of the one rivet. R rivet. <laughs> rivet. <laughs> rivet. 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 Put Wait. all these rivets in here. Wait, rivet. Rivet. <laughs> Why is that so funny when it's making me laugh? <laughs> oh, God, I must I need know. a nap. Okay, uh, here we go. <laughs> throw the switch? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and throw the switch. I'm gonna. I'm putting the brake on this top car, and I'm disconnecting them while you're switching. Okay. And we're going to wait. The brake was on. What? I guess two cars need a brake on this hill. Got it? Okay. Okay, they're good. There they go. Scary. All right. I'm backing up. I'm backing up. And the engine says, oh, no, you aren't. Whoa, easy there, Mac. <laughs> he 
He got all excited. He was like, chugga, 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 chugga. <laughs> Train. All right. And go ahead and throw that switch, Mr. Micah. Little Max going down the hill. Now, are you driving it from that menu or are you driving it from? No, I like to drive it from the menu because I like to see the engine out from the outside. Yeah, I know. Me too. It's easier. I don't know. It's cool to do it from the inside, but I'm not cool. So, If they give us a choice of when we make our characters, I'm going to make my character really short <laughs> so I can see out the windows. <laughs> That's <laughs> Only ever going to use the little Mac, ever. <laughs> All right. I hope they they make a uh, a rescue uh, trailer or car, like a crane car. Well, not well, not only that, but have one that has a water tank on it. And one that's got uh, so you got you can put some court you can put some wood on it and some water. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Well, that hand cart actually has wood on it. But it doesn't have any water. No, no water. No, no. Ugh. Pin me up, Mister Micah. One, two. Okay, let me check the brakes. Yeah, I think the brakes. Oh, the brake. first car has brakes. I'm pretty positive yeah, I, I left so. them. Just making sure. So now we're gonna go pick those other cars up, and we're gonna well, the, we're gonna unload two of these cars into our firewood depot, so that it's closer to full. That way, we always have resources down here. Once in a blue moon. We're going to have to have a log train come down and fill these places up. But, by the way, Mocha is named after Mr. Micah. I see the Mocha car up there. And we have a car named after Carp. I'm definitely going to need one, two more for people that have played on here. We've got Cypherin and we've also got Jeff. Why did my name not fit or something so you said Mocha? No, I just was having fun. Oh, okay. I think Mr. And then we have a coal car called, Ms. Uh, an iron ore car called Mr. M. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're all over the place, Micah. At least they ain't stains. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, I stopped too oh, soon. Oh, no. I forgot to throw it. Sorry. Oh. I'm glad you stopped. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. I had a brain, uh, brain dead right there. So do you want the first car or the last car? No, first the first two that come in, like that that one and then the next one. Is that no, good? wait, are you wait, are you gonna hook these cars back up again? Yeah. But first we're gonna unload two of these log cars. I'm just thinking of the weight. We have a bunch of cars that are empty in between. Yeah, that's fine. No, they'll be on the end. Okay. And then one more car to unload. Yeah, there'll be no empties in between. Well, what I'm just I'm just what I'm thinking is is the cars in between if they don't have enough weight, they might come off the tracks. Probably. But usually you want to have your loaded cars behind the engine and then right. and then your unloaded cars, you know. Oh, you're going to go back. back the other way, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, okay. Forward a bit, a bit more. A little, little further. Yep, a little further. You got it. About three feet. Tree three feet. or four feet, just to make sure. There you go. I'm in, like, fleeing. Did it work? Yep. There it goes. Okay. Uh, let's see here. The pin. Oh, I can see the pin. Sweet. Okay, you can <laughs> keep backing them up. Oh, hang on. I'll hook these up. I was grabbing some firewood while I was here. Might as well use what we got, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then we're going to go forward more.
Arthur, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay the never car mind. fixed itself. All right. All right, stop. And then two, the last two cars have brakes on. You might want to check the other ones too, but for sure the last two have brakes. Yep, I will, I'm doing that now. All right. And then when you come here, I'm going to have you uh, throw that back switch, and then I'm going to start running, and I'm not stopping until we get to the top of the hill. It's basically, oh, we're going, you're going to go straight, right? Yeah, we're going to be going full tilt all the way up because I need every ounce of speed to get up there. So, Well, okay. So go throw the switch? Yep. No, other way. We're going the other way. Yeah, you're going to go backwards, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. We're going up the we're going up the back side now so we can show everybody the 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 iron ore run. This is how we're gonna get iron ore up to the mill. Alright, I'm ready. Alright. He's ready. Well we gotta throw that other switch. Yep. Mm -hmm. And here I come. Full regulator. Oh, we're gonna go the other way. Yeah. We're going past we're going the waterfall the now. Yep. We're going by a cart. So this is the this is the this is the mini mica loop up here. No, a carp, man. <laughs> the carp carp circle. <laughs> carp with a twist. All aboard. You know what's funny? I rather drive the train like this. Then the other way. So running it backwards? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you can actually see out the back. I mean, honestly, with this engine, it doesn't really matter that much. And, in fact, it's got a leading wheel, you know, so. Yeah. That, that uh, like it's like a, like a big steam engine, how they have the wheel on the front. What time is it? I'm going to have to let my ducks in here pretty soon. Probably when we get to the, when we get to the top of the mountain, I'll have to take a break. We're gonna need water too up at the top, I'm sure. So this is our second loop. We are gonna be passing over ourselves again. Train's not long enough. You'd need like a 50 car train to actually pass over the train, like like they do into hat, doing it like they do into Hatchapi. You think we could be able to do it with the mogul or not? I don't know. I don't think or we're gonna be running. I, honestly, I'm looking more at the Heisler for this this area yeah i don't think the mogul's gonna be back here much it's just too steep maybe so there's the first loop over or the second loop over we've done the first one much back over there um i think the mogul would be okay on this track there's a couple spots where it's a little tight though yeah like right here yeah it's pretty tight curves this is pretty tight right here. Yeah, that's a glitch. I should probably fix that. No time to slow down, though, and look. we got to keep moving. Actually, I've tried to fix that now that I think about it a couple times. And there, coming up here on the uh, left, is the, the gorgeous diamond waterfalls. Oh, i got to go get rid of that water tower. Yeah. <laughs> Later. Trout Falls. Yep, and it's going to get there's some tough spots here. There's the waterfall off there to the side. Coming up here to the right is Chapman Loop. And you can see we're losing speed. But we're saying, I think I can, I think I can. So this reminds me, I've been out west a couple times, and this reminds me of the Durango and Silverton Railroad. As you come along the, the mountainside, there's a... They kind of follow the river up the mountain. And that's what we're doing here. Though we are much higher up in altitude than most of the Durango 
railway runs just above the water line on the river. And we're back up to speed, but we are running full tilt. Regulator wide open. And you can see the iron mine way, way up there, straight ahead. So we'll be saving up for uh, two more iron ore cars and a um, either a Heisler or a Climax engine um, because we need something that'll be able to get up, up this hill a little bit easier and hopefully pulling four cars at, the, at a time. So I'm thinking we could probably full, pull full, four empty iron ore cars up the hill. But not sure, but I think so. Are you proud of Little Mac, Mr. Micah? Yeah. Have you run up this line yet? No, this is my first time this going up. Oh, there you go. You like the way I use the stone wall work, the stone works here? Yeah. I think mm -hmm. that came out nice. We got a little valley we have to cross over here. We'll unload these two cars, fill up with water, and then make our final trip back out of the valley. And you guys will see the end of the line, which is over there. That's the other. You can see across the valley there on the other side. Chapman Circle's back behind us, and that's the entryway to the valley way back there. And then over, over ahead of us on the other side of the valley is the return section of the loop going back out of the valley to the uh, sawmill. We've created quite a monster of a rail system, Mr. Micah. Yeah. This thing's awesome. We ain't even done yet, though. We ain't even done. This is where they always, yep, yeah, listen to that struggle, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's where everybody always got stuck. Well, I Nicely don't get done. stuck. Yep. See that? Nicely done. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Some sharp curves to keep us slowed. Wow, that was nice. Yep, we made it. So have you seen a lot of people have trouble in that section? Uh, yeah. Especially with the ore cars. Yeah, we'll see. I haven't tried those yet with this engine. I don't know that I'll be running any ore. I'll probably just continue to do lumber until I can afford a Heisler. And then we'll start well, running. I think Kyle said that this one has more traction to get up than the Climax or the Heisler. What? That yeah, I don't silly. know. We'll see. And I think what he means is the contact between the t the, the wheel and the rail has more grip. Oh, interesting. This. Yeah. I would not have guessed that. So here's the final stretch up to our mill. There's a little bit of a weird dip here, too. But... Not too bad. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Oh my gosh, I just thought of something. What's that? What if they allow us to build, um, telegraph poles right you know right. you could put and then what that does is that allows us to quick to do fast traveling oh like you can run telegraph poles along the rails and then when they connect to certain areas you can put like a like a building like like one of these buildings down and then that that gives you the ability to fast travel 
Oh, that'd be cool. So you can't, when you first start the game, you can't fast travel until you build some, some poles and stuff. That'd be awesome. Here we are. Here we are. Where is it? I'm going to put more wood in the fire. One, two, three, four, five. Where's what? I'm waiting for that confirmation thing on my screen. Oh, I got it. Drag them things onto the platform. Let me pull forward a little bit. That was nice, nice. And so that this engine does prove that it has the strength to get up Sherman Hill. <laughs> or whatever this is called. Iron Valley. Iron Va the Iron Valley Drift. We need to go the other 18, way. 18, we must get them all. Yep. Poifet. Do we need water? Yep, definitely. Yep, and so we did it. Now, I learned something coming down the other side. We have to be careful because uh, I came down full speed last time on the other side and ended up um, taking a little tumble off the, t off the uh, trestle. I was We're doing filling. that, and this thing We're took filling. off like crazy. Yeah, you got to – I had to, like, literally uh, – the back car snapped off, and by the time I got the train stopped, everybody fell off. So you got to – See, when I did it <laughs> – I had little. I was in Little Mac. Okay. We had four empty cars, and then we had Betsy, that was just coasting. So you had the weight of Betsy, pulling everything. Oh, I gosh. had Little Mac going in reverse with his wheels going backwards, and I was going out on the cars trying to turn their brakes on to slow down. Yeah, that no. <laughs> bad I was idea. like, ah. Bad idea. Is it full? Nope. I would say now it's full. Let's close her up. All right. So now we begin our other, the other way journey. We're going to go down the other side of the mountain over there. And you could, that's the rest of the valley. So you have seen our whole valley system. Eventually, we're going to have to add another spur in for coal because the coal lies on the other side of this ridge. I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but... Some people go up over the hill behind us. I don't know if I'd want to do that. I mean, we could. We'd probably have to run out into the valley and then come back. It'll be a shorter route, but... Yeah, like a um, same thing, like do another loop out over that precipice. I don't know. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. Do these... um. All right, I, I need to look to refresh myself on what cars do what, too, because some of these cars we're going to – I mean, I, I after I put the ducks away, I I would like to try – and we'll do this off camera. Maybe we'll try an ore run to see if I can get the ore. Because, once again, the heavyweight's getting going down the hill. The empties right. are coming back up, and we have those two ore cars. I'd like to try them out and see if we can't get that done. Um Here's the thing I was thinking about, too, is you, we could always get another little Mac and then put them together to pull the cars up. Yeah, you but then I can't. Together. If you guys aren't here and I need to work on something like off camera or whatever, then I can't. I don't have a problem getting another little Mac, but I, I think we should try. I'd like to at least test the Heisler out. Like, Oh, yeah. And if it works, then I'll keep that. We are. I'm planning on having a, several little Macs. Like, I'm not... I don't think this will be the only little Mac. We'll call it something else, obviously, but we'll call it like Little Mike. Why Mike? Because you're Micah. Oh, jeez. I'm just going to call everything Micah from now on. No, don't do that. <laughs> You'll be like, dang it. Kevin, it's like no. Mike, Micah's engine on the side. All right, I won't. And uh, I'm at 75% break trying to get this thing slowed down. <laughs> this is where I derailed, on that sharp corner there. So you can see, once again, there's our beautiful line going up the ridge on the other side. 
pretty cool stuff. There we go. Two cars are at 38% break. Oh, okay. So that should help. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Keep the slack in the cars there. Yeah. This part well, was a just pain in the butt. Yeah, this part here, I was scared out of my mind coming down. Yep. You know, it was it was pretty frightening. But then it started slowing up down right right about here. I was like, okay, okay, it's slowing. Yeah, once we get above this, like in this section around this curve, from that point forward, it slows. All right, you can go ahead and release those car brakes. We should be fine. Nice easy cruise down. Okay, we're on. We're on zero. Yep. Now I'm picking up speed, but that's because we're still on a hill. Once we get past this little section here, we won't, we won't be on a hill anymore. And there's our loop down there below us to the right. And then the other line coming up the side. <laughs> what a cool, like we got some real, oh, by the way, you didn't get to see that. We're flying over this now. Down below, we actually had to use ground dikes to build the uh, piers for our, our steel girders down there. So I actually had to put those in or it wouldn't work. So that's pretty neat that it actually worked. I was like, I'm gonna so this. where'd you get all the labor to do that? Um, You. <laughs> me? Yep, pretty much. <laughs> this is this valley is a you and me thing, Mr. Micah. That's we did all this. <laughs> this took a long time. So anyway, yeah. and it takes a long time to tour. We've been got an almost an hour long video here for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this. But that is we'll go uh, we'll take you back out of the valley through the little uh, canyon here, and then we'll call it a night. But I just wanted to share that with you because we worked really hard. To, to have this happen, and I think it's going to be really cool when we put it into motion. Um, we could even do things like if we have a couple Heislers or a Heisler, people could bring the cars up from the sawmill and then just drop them in this area here, and we can use the Heisler to pick them up and take them to where they're going. Almost like a staging area. I still would like to have a um, like one area where we have the, um, a straight through to the logging mill, though, for this train. So that yeah, we I think I think maybe a bridge straight across might be good coming out the other side. Yeah, maybe. Of the logger. You know what, though? I, I mean, it's, it's not that huge of a deal, because to be honest with you, we only need to do this run once in a while. It's not like we're going to have to do this run all the time. So maybe doing the switchbacks is not such a bad idea because it doesn't it doesn't really add that much time to what we're doing. And if we can find a, another like you got the cross cross ones too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I haven't. Used. That's one track element I haven't used. Hi, Alfie. What's oh, going on? Oh. What's the matter? Yeah, make sure I'm up. I'm up here in case the switches. Oh right. <laughs> I don't know how they're set. Are we going to go to the right towards the sawmill, or? Um, no. Probably what we'll do is we'll we'll uh, we'll just go out here and then go left because we we need to go up to the main depot. We okay. could put these cars on the siding up by the the main station because we're done with them for a little while. And then we'll we'll off camera we'll grab the coal cars. I got to go let the duckies in here shortly. So, uh, looks like the switches are good. They're both pointing left, right? So we should be fine. Yeah, those are good. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys enjoyed our railings, our rail system that we put in in Iron Valley. I think it looks pretty dang good, and we definitely had fun doing it. And now we're going to start uh, pumping iron ore out and making hopefully a lot of money. Um, but we'll see. But uh, anyway, Little Mac is capable of handling that whole system, as you saw there. I just I think a full train going up would be very difficult, but taking you know these empty cars around wasn't too difficult, and taking the full cars down to the to the saw or to the uh, refinery, the smelter was not bad either. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help for more railroad action. Uh, but we definitely had a good time making that. And, and uh, so now we've got a pretty complete system here. We're about, I would say, what, what do you think, Mike, uh, halfway done with all the things that we need to connect? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not even yeah, that we're much. We're pretty close to half. Yeah, we're, we might be half. All right. I guess. We're right. We're close. We're I got to half. That switch <gasps> up there is, yeah, we're going to. Yeah breaking up here all right folks we'll see you next time you want to say bye mr micah bye guys be sure to subscribe i think i said that already thumbs up help <laughs> see you next time guys have a good night